Oh, good morning, Adeline. What are you doing here? Preparing for the final show. But you're early. At this fast-paced media industry, early is on time. <laughs> yes, but you're never on time. Well, my friend, you're looking at a new man. What inspired the change? This week, we've been learning about heroes all around the world. I've realized that they all have one trait in common. What trait is that? They all love to learn. Hey, that's a good point. Their love of learning has inspired me. No more late days, no more fear of tests, and no complaining. Wow, Nico, I'm really glad to hear that. I've been really inspired this week, too. How so? I decided to stand up for myself more and appreciate who people are on the inside. Those are great goals, Adeline. Thanks, Nico. Since you're not afraid to test anymore, do you want to do the honors? Well, I don't know what to say except for, it's time for Pop Quiz! What was the message that the girls and you to wrote on the signs? Let's see who can get this one. It looks like we're getting a call from Brianna. Hello there, can you tell us the answer? I read a book that had articles held upside that said every child everywhere in school. That message has been the main point of all of these episodes. Every hero we meet has to work really hard just to go to school. That's right. And that's why the work Adra does is so important. They help kids all over the world go to school. Kids in the Middle East. Kids in South America. Kids in Asia. And kids in Africa. And the story for today is in Africa too. Wow, Adra really does help kids all around the world. And I've learned to appreciate what I have. Great point, Nico. We sure are fortunate to have our schools to go to, huh? And we're also fortunate to have food to eat. Our heroes today don't always get that. That's terrible. Can we learn more about these kids? Here we go, off to the country of Mozambique. In many parts of Africa, boys and girls don't always get enough food to eat. Some kids eat just one meal a day. Some don't get to eat anything. When children don't have very much food, it can be really hard to go to school. Maybe they are too weak to walk there. Maybe they have to stay home and help look for food. Maybe they are just too hungry to learn. Sometimes a little food makes a big difference. That's why Adra gives hot lunches to kids in need. Because when there are full stomachs, there are full classrooms. Now kids are getting food for the belly and food for the brain. That's a pretty good reason to smile. Wow, I never thought food could play a part in education. Me too. Imagine staying home just to find food or having to stay home because you're too hungry to walk to school. Let's see what our viewers at home have to say about this. It's time for What, what Do You Think? We're getting a call from Lauren. Hi Lauren, what do you think about the kids in Mozambique? It makes me happy to know that the kids get to go to school and have regular healthy meals. Thanks Lauren. Can you imagine always going to school on an empty stomach? I know, I don't think I could study or take tests if I was hungry. But now, they don't have to worry about it. Thanks to Adra, they can go to school and eat regular meals. That's wonderful. Hey, speaking of tests, are you ready for your memory verse test? You bet I am. It's, it's time for Bible Blast. Blast! Tell us what we're reciting, Nico. We're reciting Psalms 27.1. We'll give you viewers at home 10 seconds to recite this verse from memory. All right, Nico, let's do it together. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? 
The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Great job, Nico, and great job to all of you at home. Wow, I can't believe we did it. I should try to memorize more Bible verses, especially Psalms 27.1. It's a great verse for heroes to think about every day. Do you think we could be heroes, Adeline? I think we can be. I think we can all be. How do we act like heroes? Well, just be like the friends we've made this week. That means to be brave, like Rafif. And to be devoted, like the kids in Brazil. And to be caring, like the girls at Keep Girls Safe. And to be bold, like the students in Uganda. And to be generous to people in need, just like the kids in Mozambique. Wow, we really have met a lot of kids. And traveled all around the world. I can't wait to go home and tell my friends and family about what we've learned. Me too. This has taught us so much about the world and what it means to be a hero. But hey, before the show, you said something about a petition? Yes, the Adra petition online. What's that? It's a petition that says every child everywhere should be able to go to school. I'll definitely tell everybody to sign. I want every kid around the world to have a good place to learn. Me too. Well, old friend, what do you say we head home? I think it's about time. I sure will miss this place, though. I will too, but that doesn't mean that the stories are leaving us. That's a good point. We all have the lessons right here. Well, that's right. I guess it's time to head home. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, you, you can, can be, be a hero. hero.